and this is another edition of Voices of Ta Hamlets. Um, I'm Councillor Premier, so I'm just with Masoon from Bene FC. They're putting on a tournament, so I just want to talk to Masoon about Bene FC, with what you've done in the past, what this tournament is about, yeah. and why you're focusing on knife crime. I think that's the topic. That's that's one of the headings on the poster. So. Awesome. Do you want to just give us a background of your involvement on the Burdett Estate and why you basically got in, how you got involved in Burdett FC? Sure. Um, well, I initially started managing uh, at a young age, actually, um, uh, managing the youth team at mm. Burdett FC. And uh, it was fo football, a passion for me. So I love uh, getting involved with uh, uh, the local community, with the football that, work, that we do. Um, I play football myself, and um, over the last three years, I wanted. I saw what was going on within our local community, with that's the Bird Estate. Within Bird Estate, yeah, there. I mean, um, knife crime, especially the particular focus mainly of uh, what's been happening over the last couple of years. Actually, as you may have heard, um, London itself over the last two years have. What well, we've had more crime in London than we've had in like major countries which have guns and uh, a lot of violence within their countries. But London itself has been very uh, neglected, and there's been a lot of uh, knife crime, especially within our region of Better Estate as well, over the last couple of years. So I think football is a common uh, is a common interest of everyone, which, whichever community you're from. It doesn't matter. Football is one thing which brings us together. And I think hopefully with this tournament, it allows different uh, teams, people from all different backgrounds to come and merge together and share that common joy of uh, football and uh, common interest of football and just building relations with each other, I think is very important. So can you tell us about Buddha FC? Because uh, there's a lot of people, well, I've been following Buddha FC, yeah. um, uh, but there's a lot of people out there who don't know. But at FC, even yeah. people who are supposed to be yeah. helping out on the Burdett Estate organisations, yeah. they didn't. Was at a meeting and yeah, they didn't yeah. even know that Burdett FC existed or what the work, the good work that they're doing. So okay. can you just tell us about Burdett FC and oh, the work absolutely. that you guys do? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're focused. We're uh, predominantly focused on the local community. I mean, everything that we do is for the local community. We're not a profiting organisation. Anything, any work that we do is all on a volunteering basis. Uh, our objective is literally just to spread the word of uh, of community, of compassion, community, um, building relations with each other, and also through that message of um, football, of sport, of our common interest. And um, what we intend to do is to um, make football our... Okay, I'm gonna have to stop. I, I, I need to. I need to know. How to unifying. So football as a unifier. But but can you just tell us about the kind of activities that you do? How many teams do you have? How many training sessions do oh, you do? Absolutely. So just 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 so people. Sure. I mean, the structure of the club is <coughs> pretty solid. I mean, we have. I currently think we have about four teams. So we have an under ten teams. We have an under uh, thirteen, under thirteen teams, and under fourteen team, and uh, the senior team itself. So I mean. Well, there's a lot of work going on within the club uh, at the moment, and we're looking to cater for all ages as well. So, I mean, we've been established for more than 12, 13 years now. So we're an established club which completes at a high level within the Inner London Football League as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we're just hoping to make better Estate uh, a better place to live, uh, not only through... Uh, but estate, we're, we're, lo we're looking to do our part as an estate within a community, within Tower Hamlets, within London, to make uh, our communities a better place to live, really. Cool. Through football, yeah. Uh, so do you want to talk about this uh, tournament? Um, yeah. There's a tournament coming up yeah. uh, next weekend. Yeah. Um, do you want to give us the details of it? Sure, um, yeah, absolutely. Where it's happening? Sure. And also the reasoning behind it. Why do you think this tournament is important and how does it uh, contribute towards making a safer place so protecting our, uh, our neighbors from knife crime absolutely. or protecting them from gang violence etc absolutely i think one thing which is important to 
highlight is uh, not everyone from different communities know each other. Right? And if you build relations with different communities, I think it's more of an effective approach to tackling uh, violence, especially knife crime. So uh, this tournament itself is open to everyone within Tower Hamlets, within London, to come and compete through a purpose as well. So you're competing as well. You're competing to win a lot of prizes that we're uh, putting out there. But at the same time, to build teams, to get to know each other, and to show that everyone within different communities love football and we all can have that common interest and so so there's going to be a barbecue as well in it to absolutely. bring people together and how, how many teams have already signed right, up right okay uh, yeah. there's there's currently uh at the moment it's 27 teams at the moment which is bigger than some of the major major tournaments yeah, within, I, <laughs> within, I, within london i had so, a I phone mean, call from an old Burdett person who's a gas engineer that's all i'm gonna give his and he's putting a team in so i'm like wow you yeah. know if this guy is getting involved in the estate or some activities yeah. in the state then this must be big Fantastic. but he needs to get more involved yeah definitely <laughs> um we have at the moment we have 27 teams it's, it's we have huge demands so i'm getting calls literally every single day from teams that want to enter that want to enter it's still open um and we want to cater for as many people so, as possible. So, so do you want to give us the time, location, Absolutely. and how do, if anybody's interested in this, how do they get in touch? All the details will be on the poster that we will, uh, uh, we will send across, I think. So I'll put a poster up at the end of the video, yeah. um, and uh, we'll take it from there. Is it, do you, is it, is it Buddha FC going to do more of these kind of events? Is that something that you want to do? Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. And on that point of the poster itself, it's available on Facebook, uh, Instagram, all social media, and we're spreading it out. Um, this event, we are looking to make an annual thing. We want to make this Better FC Super Cup a landmark event for everyone to enter and compete on an annual basis to continue building. This is not just a one-day project. This is something that we will continue to do uh, for the next couple of years to come. And um, yeah, I think it's going to be very, very good this Sunday. Well, you've got my support, and definitely we my land on the map. There's loads of good things happening in yeah. my land, and Buddha FC is one of those good things, and people Absolutely. need to know about it. Absolutely. But thanks for your time, Masim, and I'll see you at the tournament Brilliant. and the barbecue. Brilliant. Take care. Thank you so much. Cool.